Okay everybody, welcome back to the shop. So in a recent carve attempt, I ran into this little ditty right here. What you're looking at is a router that has plunged into my project. Now if you want to know how to correct that, continue watching and I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial to explain why this happened and how I corrected it. I hope you get something out of this video. I hope you learn something. I hope it helps you out in some way. Give me a like, a subscribe, and share if you think it's worthy. And let's get started. So the problem we have, what caused that, is in the toolpath. And it's right here. The safe Z height. You need to click on that Z height here. Open it up and make an adjustment in this box. What we did wrong was the stock material was an inch and a half thick. The machine has a limited amount of travel. Upon the initial move it will lift and it will lift to that safe Z height. So in my case I was using an inch and a half material and before making this adjustment right here I had that set at two inches or two and a half maybe. So upon that initial move it's lifting from the top of the material two and a half inches higher than that. The machine does not have the travel to do this. It'll top out, you'll hear that crazy grinding sound, and then when you push go it has just got an incorrect Z height Thus, when it starts, it will plunge to what it believes is the top of the piece. And unfortunately, that is a lot deeper than what you desire. So you adjust this, piece, this setting here based off of the surface of your stock. It only needs to lift a quarter of an inch. And in some cases, not even that much. It's based on your clamping systems. My clamps do not interfere with the height of the stock in any way. I have a sliding bar. You've seen that many times. I've also got a video that will show you our system. But right there is the cause of it. Always keep an eye on that setting right there when you're using thicker material than you're accustomed to. Now, I'm not going to leave it at that. I wanted to show you an example of what it is. And I slowed this down a little bit so you can maybe see what it's doing. That move right there, that little lift, is what caused the problem. And this is how quickly I have to hit the pause button to stop this. And in the next clip, I'm hoping you can hear this sound so that you'll recognize it if it happens to you. And Eureka folks, we've got it corrected. Here you see the machine behaving properly. I thought I'd give you one more little bit of advice. Always check your wood for defects. If you see that large knot on the left, this happened to this carving on the very last pass of the roughing bit right before I switched to the finishing bit. I decided to continue and luckily the carve came out okay. Folks, I hope this helped you out in some way and come back and watch the next video to see what we're actually making with this carving. It's a pretty cool project. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks again, everybody.